Good morning, Drone World. So in our first story today, new research has shown that AED-equipped drones can arrive minutes ahead of emergency services. The research coming from Sweden showed that in 64% of cases, the drones were able to deliver defibrillator equipment nearly two minutes ahead of responders traveling by ambulance. For every minute without treatment, the chances of survival decreases by seven to 10%. So getting to the scene as quickly as possible is crucial. Dr. Sophia Shireback, a physician at Karolinski University Hospital stated, drones have the potential to decrease time to defibrillation in patients suffering from cardiac arrest. This could lead to higher chances of survival in patients. We believe that in a few years, drones used to deliver emergency medical equipment such as AEDs could be used as common practice. This in theory could save thousands of lives each year. Our next story comes from the Netherlands where Avi Aero have now reached their second and third rounds of testing. The Veloe Forest Fire Committee has commissioned a study into the Avi drones detecting forest fires early this year. The drones can run fully autonomously and can take off and land vertically, making hard to reach places accessible. It can cover long distances thanks to its fixed wind design, making it about 10 times more efficient than conventional quadcopters. Currently, planes are used to monitor the nature preserves for fires, but research aims to severely reduce the operational costs. In the next stage of testing, they will be trialling beyond visual line of sight. If all is successful, the fourth phase of testing will take place later this autumn. Now on to Copters news, and this is really exciting. So we are pleased to announce that our very own Naomi Horner has passed her GVC flight test last week. Naomi has become the first female pilot at Copters, and we can't wait to see what Naomi does next. Here's her reaction. The GVC flight assessment was a lot easier and more straightforward than I thought it was gonna be. I'm usually the one telling our customers that they have nothing to worry about, but in this case, I was feeling pretty worried. I haven't been flying drones for very long, despite being in the industry for over three years. Um, so I had no idea how it was gonna go on the day. But luckily I had our head of training, Harry, there with me every step of the way and it went seamlessly. So I'm feeling pretty proud to be the first fully qualified female drone pilot here at Copters. Early this year, we joined force with a variety of organisations within the military and defence space to host the inaugural Battle Lab event. This included Brigantes, Parrot, Typhon, amongst many others. So, the event was a unique opportunity for members of the Ministry of Defence to understand how technologies can work together, bringing vital elements to the battle space. Here is Copter's Business Development Manager, Sam Deniff, speaking about the event. Firstly, it's been good to put names to faces of, of people that we've spoken to uh, on, a, on a wide range of stuff and actually meet them in person and yeah. say hello and thanks for, thanks for the conversation we've had. But the main thing for, for me has been being able to display that a drone is no longer just an eye in the sky that you bang in the air and mm. fly around because we've been able to show the mapping capability, we've been able to show the tactical internal capability and sort of the stable of solutions around that, that product. Mm. Um, so building that out and, and almost making it a, a, a tangible story, not just a, an item off the shelf. Yeah. Um, and seeing people understand that, for me, that's been the most, most important thing today, I'd say. Now for another success story. Over the years, we've trained over 6,000 pilots across many different industries, but one thing we don't get tired of is hearing our trainee success stories. Mark from S4G completed his training with us in September 2020. Now a year on, Mark is providing professional drone services, offering thermal inspections, commercial and residential, videography and more. Here's what Mark had to say about his experience with copters. So my training at Copters was to learn how to qualify for the PFCO, the Permissions for Commercial Operations, which I did at ground school during lockdown uh, up in Leeds, which was fantastic. So two days in the classroom with a full exam at the end, and then I was on to flight school, which unfortunately due to the weather was delayed a bit longer, but please say I passed. In terms of where the business is now, it's moving more towards building inspections, building surveys, 3D point cloud surveys, and doing orthograms for things like land surveying as well. So we've become much more technical. Still do videos, still we still do VR 360s for walkthroughs for buildings as well, to show before and afters. Um, and I've also studied now to actually be able to get on site for construction by getting my CSCS green card. And I've done asbestos awareness training for buildings where we're flying inside them, where those risks might exist. So thanks Copters, thanks for your help for kickstarting me. And uh, as they say, I shall be back at some point uh, to take up the next stage of training. Keep up the good work. Cheers.
Thanks for joining us on this week's Good Morning Drone World and hit like on the video and join us next week to hear more on all things drone.